Good morning guys, I am on the way to explore Bibi Khanum Mosque in Samarkand in Uzbekistan and this is one of the roads which is connecting Registan Square with the Bibi Khanum Mosque and at the moment it's Saturday and it's super busy here I think it's more of, more of them are school schools and universities are visiting these places This is the Bibi Khanum Mosque as you can see the entrance is massive it's around 35 meters tall and it has been built during the 15th century and during the centuries it has been destroyed due to earthquakes but later during the 20th century it has been reconstructed uh, during the Soviet Union and this is what has been left for us at the moment as I mentioned, this is 35 meters and then there is another wall behind which is around 40 meters. And Samarkand in general, Uzbekistan is very famous for the Islamic architecture and especially for the blue domes. Especially if you visit to Samarkand, you will see lots of these blue domes everywhere. This is the massive entrance. It's so gigantic and I cannot believe how heavy is this building is itself and it kept itself for more than 500 years. Just entered to the inside and I had to pay 25,000 som which is around 2.5 dollars. Uh, which is not bad price I think for such a historical monument to see so this is the one of the walls is this behind me and the second wall which is 40 meters tall it's that wall and as I mentioned it's crazy here there are so many students and from the schools probably from the university it's kind of their weekend trip, I believe. And some of them been taking pictures with me. I think for them, I'm a little bit exotic. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. entered one of the kind of rooms here and the down part of the walls seems not reconstructed or destroyed but when you look at the top the ceiling is amazing what a beautiful Islamic architecture here And the kids are climbing to somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where. But anyway, the room I have been, it was this blue topped dome. And symmetrically on the other side, there's another blue dome. Oh yeah, seems like there's nowhere to go. And <laughs> they're just taking pictures. Okay, so we have a um, photo session here. <laughs> Two fonts. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Rahmat, Rahmat, Rahmat. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, more, more pictures, more videos. <laughs> yeah, bro. Da. Okay. Thank you. Bida. Turkish, Azerbaijan. Turkish, Konsur. <laughs> Bit <laughs> photo session. <laughs> okay. What is your name? Davud. What's your name? What's your name? 
I'm Dawood, you? Sabina. Sabina, okay. Sabina. It's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. When you think this being built during the 15th century, it's so massive and so scary actually. Imagine you are coming here to pray. The amount of energy you get from this such a building is, is crazy. And again, more Islamic architecture. Blue designs, Arabic letters. And I believe the entrance is not allowed here. I will check out what's written there but I believe there's no entrance to this building seems like the main part of the mosque is inside is kind of like destroyed and not reconstructed so that's why there is no entrance to there and this is the behind part of the mosque and again bigger blue dome on the top it seems like it's a house for birds at the moment so we explored that dome there on the left and symmetrically there is a, another one here which we will go inside and check it out and there are four minaras on the four sides of the area or the building so one is here one is on the other side and you can see one just like behind there and another one is just behind this blue dome Seems like this part is reconstructed, even the down parts. In the another dome it was completely destroyed the walls, but only the ceiling was kept. This is beautiful. This is one of the old pictures where it seems destroyed and this is actually how the original version original version used to look like at the moment this part is reconstructed this part as well and there are these two blue domes there but this minaras two of them and two of them here is not there anymore Wow, beautiful place. After I see the, these old pictures, you I can understand how much of this been destroyed during the earthquake and how much actually been reconstructed during the Soviet Union. And amount of work been put here, it's massive. And these are, not sure how is how clear is it from the video, but these buildings are not small. They are massive, like this one is like 40 meters and this building which was the entrance is around 30 meters so it's a it's a crazy big and very beautiful place i am i'm very much impressed and uh, usually when i go to these places i start imagining how actually people been like traveling and praying here and spending time here yeah it's crazy and now it's just kind of like a museum people come and go uh, there's no place for praying anyway if you are in Samarkand make sure you check out this Bibi Khan mosque so there is a building just behind me it's actually where is the uh, Bibi Hanem is sleeping for forever and if you are asking who is Bibi Hanem? Bibi Hanem is been one of the most favorite wife of uh, Amir Taymur and 
Uh, Amir Temur had more wives, I think more than 10 wives, but uh, Bibi Hanem always been the favorite. But she never had a child actually from Amir Temur or never had a child in general. Uh, but always she'd been the smartest and very strategic lady. And that's why uh, she'd been always favorite of uh, Amir Temur. And this place is just in front of this mosque. So if you come to the mosque, make sure you check out this beautiful place as well. <laughs> we are taking more pictures. <laughs> Honey? Okay. Zor. Zor. <laughs> Teşekkürler. Rahmat. Rahmat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. I just arrived to another location. It's called Shahi Zinda and it's in Samarkand and it's a beautiful place. It's actually a complex of multiple buildings and there are lots of uh, buried people here from Timur's family and people served to him. And look at these buildings, colors. It's just amazing. So there are this kind of like small rooms you can visit one by one. For example, this one says built in 14th century, one of the most beautiful buildings built in honor of Temur's sister, Turkan Oko and her daughter Shodi Mulk. Wow. Look at this architecture, colors, designs. What a beautiful honor and pleasure for me to be here and visit this very historical buildings and historical moments. Look at this ceiling. This is built in the 14th century, so 14th century is like 600 years away from, from now and these buildings kept so well. Ali Nasafi Mosalam. This one actually differs by its elegant geometric form and this is also built in the 14th century. Wow, this is crazy look at these details and the hard work and time being put on these buildings like all the small details and ceiling is amazing as well Amir Tamar's wife's cookbook could be buried here. It's crazy, some of the places doesn't have a name so they don't know who is sleeping there. Which is crazy, I mean, you are part of very special history of the humankind or and then your name is kind of lost it's a uh, it's a little bit sad to know that it's not possible to identify who was this people or there are no records at all Amir Tamer's wife complex consists of the two service rooms, mosque and mosque. Wow, look at this ceiling. It's amazing. 
every room I get in, it's a very different style and also very amazing architecture, design, very beautiful. <laughs> so there are students from Uzbekistan and they're learning English yes. and they want to practice with me. So let's start. Let's, let's begin. Um, students, do you have any questions to our guests? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And tell speak, me. Yeah. Uh, you may uh, ask some questions in English. Let's speak. And uh, Shahrizada introduced. Uh, yourself, herself, yes. yeah, herself in English. Let's begin. Uh, can you say about yourself? Uh, one, once more, once more. Uh -huh. uh, can you say about yourself? Uh, yourself. So I am from uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. And I I am living uh, in Czech Republic, uh -huh. in in Europe. Yeah. And how you try to ask how this? Uh, how once more? Slow, slowly. Slowly. <laughs> Uh, how I travel. So I go with plane, I fly, uh -huh. and uh, Samalyot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how you liked our city? Um, Samarkand is very beautiful, historical. Uh, I was in Tashkent. Tashkent is also very nice, but very modern city. But Samarkand very beautiful and historical. So I love it. From Azerbaijan. Which places of Samarkand are beautiful for you? Uh, beautiful for me. Um, the mosque. Uh, how was it? The Aziz. Registan? Uh, no, no. Uh, Registan is nice as well. And this mosque, Bibi Hanum. Bibi Hanum yes. yes. Bibi Hanum mosque is very beautiful. Bibi Hanum mosque. Do you have friends visit to Uzbekistan? What? One more time, slowly. <laughs> Advice to your advice to, to visit to Uzbekistan? Definitely. I make uh, YouTube videos uh -huh. and I post on my Instagram, TikTok, and I tell my friends it's so beautiful, you should come here. So. I can tell again. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the, is, uh, which is the best place to see in Samarkand? In Samarkand, this place is very nice. Shakizindan. Shakizindan. You should write down. You yes. should notice. Shakizindan and Registan. Shakizindan and Registan. Do you want to <laughs> yes, yes, yes. come to Samarkand again? Yes, I will yes. come. I will come for sure. Yes, next time I come to Samarkand. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Davud. No, Davud. 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 Yes. Yes, Davud. that's my she real name. name. Or David. My name is Marjona. Marjona. It's Uzbek name. Yeah, Tajiki. Ah, you are also Tajik? Iranian. Iranian. Ah, I'm Iranian. from Azerbaijan, so we are neighbors. <laughs> nice. Yes, you? Iranka. Iran as well. Okay, perfect. From where? Tehran? Iran. Iran. Okay. <laughs> so more more pictures. <laughs> Rahmat, Rahmat, Rahmat. So it's it's over. Yes, yes. No problem. So this is part of your uh, assignment in yes. school. Yes. Not in school, but uh, practical. Practical. School, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, amazing. Ni nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your time. But, uh, and also, you I, should. Yeah, have let's pictures. take a picture. Yes, yeah. I can give you also a link to my YouTube channel. You yes, can yes, see that course. as well. <laughs> amazing. So, do you want me to stand there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? I can take a picture for all of us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. We switch that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cheese. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, guys. Bye bye. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Have thank you. A nice day. Thank, thank you. You too. Goodbye. Amazing. Nice so to nice to meet you too. Bye, guys. <laughs> Super nice. Hello. Hello, hi. <laughs> I am famous here. What's your name? Davut, Davut. Your Davut. name? What? My name is Fardas. Fardas. Okay, nice. You want a okay. picture? Yes, let's take a photo. Where are you from? From Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? Um, yes, originally, yes, from Azerbaijan. Yeah, let's take a photo.
<laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank Rahmat, you. Rahmat, Rahmat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye guys. Beautiful. This is the end of the Shahi Zindan tour in Samarkand. It's a very beautiful place. Uh, if you are in Samarkand, then this is one of the must visit places in this area. It's super beautiful. People are super friendly. Most of the tourists are locals here and students and from the university. So it's nice. You can have a conversation with them learn about their culture and things and take pictures uh, it's just beautiful so this is the beautiful Shahi Zindan tour thanks a lot guys for watching right now it's time to go for a lunch and later I will decide what to do in Samarkand thank you so much for your time and watching see you in the next video from Uzbekistan <laughs>